I mean, there's a lot of other things like how I told I told the humans or I told people. I said, well, everything that you need, every kind of drug that you could pro possibly need can be refined from the plants and animals around this planet. Um, like I said, it wasn't until they found and I and I even hinted. I said, I, I said, and the po and things that you regard as poison in different ways don't aren't always poison. If you look at how they interact with your with the body and stuff like that, you can make things out from them. You know, that's not just, you know, a pucker fish, or not a pucker fish, but one of those spiny fishes, you know. And then later on they were using that the, the poison from, from one of those animals to actually numb people's joints and stuff like that. Because it's uh whatever. Anyway, I I, I told them that that everything has been put here, you know, for a reason, and that it's all here, as long as they don't kill it, or accidentally kill it, or something like that, because it produces the poisons and stuff like that, and how those poisons interact with your body, you can use them for other things. Anyway, um, and stuff like that, like, there's, you know, you can refine it and stuff like that. Anyway, I even said that some poisons in high doses are are deadly, but in low doses it does other things and stuff like that. And kind of hinted in that that's when the researchers, probably around 1920s, 1930s, when they started to seriously look at, you know, the sea life and stuff like that. And there's also the Bioluminescence Project, which, eh, I don't know if I started or not. I think so. But um, I was I was trying to encourage people to uh, mess around with, with, with the bio, the genetics and bioluminescence and stuff like that. I mean, with the white paint, we we had made the glow-in-the-dark paint and stuff like that, which was very expensive at one point in time, and still kind of is, but I mean, it's all in how much you produce, you know, you, there, there are other ways of producing it. At first, we were using radiation, but we were looking at what makes it actually glow, and trying to figure out other ways to to make it glow, you know, without actually having it radio, radioactive and all that. So, advanced research is, you know, that, that, that's been going on for the last hundred years. You know, it's not just the breeding projects. I mean, it's America slash, slash or Germany slash America, basically, and the furthering of sciences. And, you know, really, re really, like, 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 like I found out that, 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 that really the problem really mostly was, was, was like Nixon and JFK and some of the other people, they were, they were charging for the cleanup of these radioactive things. And the communists or the, or the, or the community people, would have would have cleaned it up the right way but like i say nixon didn't really care and they didn't care they were just trying to just get rid of it and there's and there's also a lot of shooting and death because like i say nixon was just a poor boy as they say you know and and so was and so was uh john mccain they didn't have any money at all he was just a good looking guy and technically genetically possibly genetically created i'm not exactly sure maybe not um I had a genetic pro project of, 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 of not just bred into existence people, but actually genetically created people that were way superior and way better looking. Also, higher, much higher intelligence ratios um, that were done a long time ago at some point in time, you know, to kind of like get people in the right way. And there's a lot of interbreeding, like, like I say, if you go back to the 19 whatevers, there's a whole lot of inbreeding because there's a lot of diseases that were popping up everywhere and uh, and just a lot of inner in, in, inner breeding and, and we had to break the break humans of that of that habit really and that's what the, what the whole of like you know like I say I don't really care if you sleep with your sister but um, but I mean I mean the, the the inner breeding problem was the real issue of it and all the scientists knew that and all the doctors knew that that it does become a problem you know after third or fourth generations. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. I mean, I mean, it doesn't. Like, I didn't really care, and 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 mostly for the most part, the genes were so stable that you know it wouldn't be a problem for for a long, 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 long time, realistically. So anyway, and 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 when it, when they did an inspection of the Earth, they found severe gene degradation here on the planet and stuff like that. So. Anyway, and that was what, what, what a, lot of the, a lot of the mutation problems were, and, and also radiation damage or whatever. Just stuff like that. I'm not exactly sure exactly. I mean, I was just glossed over the report, so. 
it's funny, a lot of people would have seen more about me if they had just read to the back of the report. <laughs> like, like, like I say, believe it or not, Nixon and JFK had the full knowledge and full information about me sitting on their desk. But there was like, like, like 10 pages or 20 pages of technical information way before and then like way in the back of the report or somewhere around the middle, it, 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 it mentioned me. And if they had just read to the back of the page of the report, they would have been able to just walk up and go to me. Like two seconds. But they never read that far into the reports. Because they're always too busy having sex or partying or whatever. Anyway. So anyway, yeah, it's, it's kind of funny. But anyway, so later on they're like, if you had read to the back of the report, you would have known about him. Somebody finally read the report. Anyway, yeah, so. The White House had all the information on me. So did the Pentagon, so. <laughs> anyway, they could have just killed me or whatever, or something or other. I don't really know. Crazy plots unite. So, anyway. A little late now. <laughs>